You're watching Let's Chat. Welcome back everyone and some of your community news today. We are so excited to tell you about the 14th annual Shamrock City up on Rock City on Lookout Mountain. You're definitely going to want to check this one out folks with your family and joining us now to tell us all about it is Miss Megan Jolly. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Well, so good to see you in person. I know I'm glad you're here. All right, we all love Rock City. There are so many things to do up there. It's so beautiful, but this time of year, everything turns green. Tell us a little yes. bit about it. Yes, so um, there's a green waterfall, and I really think that is such a highlight. If you haven't been, it's really worth coming just for that, to take pictures of a green waterfall, because when else are you going to see that? And when you walk through the park, everybody is, it's so fun seeing everyone dressed in green. So we encourage people to come, you know, wear, wear your shamrock necklaces, wear green. Um, it's just, it makes it such a fun thing event when everybody kind of participates you know um, but you're gonna feel like you're walking through um, maybe Ireland for a day because um, our natural scenery is very um, very green and just the rock formations make you feel like you're somewhere else anyway but then when you add in um, some bagpipers and kilts and um, you hear the Irish music and you smell the Irish food like it just makes you really like feel immersed in in that kind of culture absolutely let's talk a little bit about the waterfall i pretty i think it's amazing how yeah. you are able to do this each and every year tell us a little bit about the process for this yeah so we dye the waterfall green um a couple we have to wait you know till right before the event starts so a couple days ahead of time and it is you know we've gone through this process of making sure um, it's environmentally safe and all those things and it just it, it's great because it lasts you know, through the end of the event and then maybe a couple days afterwards and it just kind of filters out. They're really neat. All right, we want to tell folks a little bit about some of the food and the things that you're going to see when you go there. Tell us about the different dishes that are available. Yeah, so we have a lot of new dishes this year. So at different eateries in the park, Cafe 7, Big Rock Grill, and our pavilion, they each have a different um, item. So there's Dublin Coddle, which is sausage, potatoes, and onions, if you're not familiar. Um, Irish stew, we have corned beef and cabbage, shepherd's pie, those traditional kind of Irish dishes. But, you know, if you, if you don't maybe want to try something Irish, we have our normal menu items too. So like Cafe 7 has chicken pot pie, and then there's um, Guinness cupcakes and floats out there. And then um, there's green mint milkshakes uh, at our Big Rock Grill. There's green fudge at the Fudge Kitchen. So there's really probably something for everybody. Lots of different varieties for each and every person in the Tennessee Valley. Tell us about those activities. Lots of folks were dancing, I saw. There's also some sketches going on. Talk to us a little bit about that. Yeah, so we, um, we have some Irish pop-up dance performances throughout the park, kind of the same way we're doing the bagpipers and the um, the drummers in the pipe band. So they're going to be roaming throughout the park, so you don't necessarily know where they're going to be at different parts of the trail, but kind of makes that fun. And then we have um, a sheep encounter, so you can pet and, and take pictures with live sheep, and a Scottish Highland cow. And then we have panning for gold, and that's kind of the perfect like kid activity for something like this. Oh so. yeah, my son would love that, absolutely. All right, and if you want to get reservations for tickets, how do you do that, Megan? So go online to searockcity.com slash shamrock, and that takes you directly to this page where it'll give you the times for the entertainment and different activities. Make sure you kind of check um, different openings, like restaurant openings for maybe what you want. Um, and we do recommend reservations just because of event weekends being typically more crowded. Absolutely. So get your tickets now, folks, so you can go enjoy the event. Also coming up is spring break. You guys have a big event going on in the city of Chattanooga. Tell us about it. Yeah, so we partner with the Chattanooga Tourism Company and different attractions around Chattanooga participate in spring break safari. So it's this great collaborative effort um, and, a, and it's a joint. Um, there's a you can do a scavenger hunt. You can go online and get more information, but there's a citywide kind of scavenger hunt at each attraction. Um, and you don't even have to go inside the facilities or the parks. Um, you can take all of these pictures outside. Um, and then each attraction is offering a different like special activity. So for us, we're doing a rock quest adventure. So when you go to the ticket desk, you can ask for a guide, an adventure guide, and you get one of those. And then there's also, if this is an add on, if you want to do this, um, it's a, it's a crystal kit. Like you can, it's a to go kit, but um, to kind of make your own crystal. Really neat. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. So it, 
lots of fun. Lots of fun for the kiddos on spring break. Something to give them to do around the scenic city. Megan Jolly, thank you so much for joining us thank and giving you. us this information about what's going to be going on at Rock City. Also, as it turns into Shamrock City. Okay. For more information, you can get tickets or learn more about the spring break festivities. All you need to do is go to their website. For more information on this interview, go to our website at WDEF.com.